Welcome back to Shill Bro Brother, Shill Brother Outdoor today. Uh, you know, Andy doesn't Andy doesn't weigh in so much on the ground sleeping stuff. He's still very much a, uh, a dedicated hammock camper. Today's video, um, man, I released a review of the Nemo Tensor long wide insulated sleeping pad literally a year ago. And it has literally become one of our most viewed videos, which is pretty weird, but uh, I get it. Um, because at the time there wasn't a lot of people talking about this sleeping pad and you would not believe, you probably would believe, the amount of people that have reached out to us asking us questions about this. So I'm doing like a after the honeymoon phase, um, like, what are my thoughts on using this after you know a year and a half of very steady use? This is not going to be a review. Check out the review I did of this. Um, I'll go through all the specs, like all that stuff, much more in depthly. I am going to you know talk about this pad. Um, so in a sense, I'm kind of reviewing it, but. You know, I've, I have some thoughts and opinions, and uh, once you use a piece of gear for years, um, you definitely, you know, develop a, a good taste for it. So that's what today's video is going to be about. You know, my thoughts after the honeymoon phase of the Tensor um, Ultra Long, Ultra Wide Insulated Sleeping Pad. I was like a dedicated Thermarest guy for like the first like six years of backpacking. Uh, I started with a Thermarest Base Camp, which is a one inch thick pad. I moved to the, the Thermarest Neo Air back in like 2014, which is a two and a half inch thick pad. So why did I leave Thermarest? Well, I, I talk about it in the review of this, but I am a dedicated side sleeper, both on the ground and for the most part in the hammock. Now in the hammock, I can sleep on my back now. That is one thing hammocking has taught me how to like sleep on my back, which is pretty cool but I am like a dedicated side sleeper on the ground. If you're a side sleeper on the ground, you need a big pad, you need a thick pad. Otherwise your hip will dig into the ground and your hip will be sore when you wake up. At the time, you know, a year and a half ago, and I think this is still the case, Thermarest was not making a pad over two and a half inches thick. Now two and a half inches thick is good, um, but depending on what surface you're on and your sleeping position, your hip might hit the ground. So I wanted something thicker. And if you wanna go thicker than two and a half, you gotta look at other brands. So the biggest ones are Big Agnes and Nemo. And I, the Nemo was the lightest and I wanted something insulated and it was three inches thick. So that's why I got it. I have used this thing a lot. You know, probably pushing 25, 30 nights on it because I've slept on it in my house and I've, I've literally I used it in the AT down in Virginia I used it at picture rocks um, I used it in Lake Tahoe I used it in California I use it in West Virginia I've used it in Ohio I have used it in so many different conditions so first thing I want to talk about in my reflection because I use this in the winter uh, we went uh, backpacking in Wisconsin this winter for two nights. One night I used this, one night I used the Neo Air X-Therm because I wanted to really compare them in the winter um, side by side. This is not as warm as the X-Therm, it's not. But I used this, and this is insulated, and for 23 and a half ounces, for an ultra long, ultra wide, I'm 6'2", I need big pads, 23 and a half ounces for a three inch thick, ultra long, ultra wide insulated pad, I think is a very fair weight but at 22 degrees, this pad was fine. Now, the X-Therm is warmer. When you get on this pad and it's 22 degrees, it's gonna take some time for your back to warm up. But I, I slept fine, I didn't wake up cold, so I will vouch for this thing going to 22 degrees. At the time I bought this, they didn't have an R value. I think they have an R value now, I think it's around four, but 22 degrees, it was fine. I would not think I would not take this thing below 20 degrees. Whereas the X term, you can. All right, my next little impression after you know, almost two years of use. I baby the crap out of this pad. Um, I do not baby the crap out of Thermarest stuff. I have not had an issue with this thing tearing, popping, whatever. I carry like two or three different types of patch kits. I carry the patch kit that comes with this. I carry the patch kit from Lightsmith that's made of tenacious tape. Check that out. And I also carry the patch kit that came with my Neo Air. 
Yes, I'm paranoid. However, if your sleeping pad pops, especially if it's in the winter, if that's a trip ender. There's very, very few things where if they break, the trip's over. Like I literally can't think of anything other than your pack and your sleeping pad. So sleeping pad repairing materials are super light. There's, I mean, you're talking like an ounce for those three things. They're cheap. Uh, they come with the pad and the Lightsmith patches are like 50 cents. I baby the crap out of this because it is a 20D nylon. It is thinner than the Thermarest pad. I baby it and you're gonna have to baby it. But if you baby it, you won't have issues with it. But like, I blow it up in the tent. I deflate it in the tent. I, I don't scrape it on stuff. Um, when it goes in my pack, I always put it in a dry bag to protect it in the pack from other things in my pack. Uh, I'm, I am worried about abrasion, but I haven't had any issues and I've used the crap out of it. But like ultralight stuff in general, you're probably gonna have to baby it more so than the Thermarest, um, so that can be a negative. Next impression of this pad. Um, it comes with this thing called a Vortex pump sack. I'm gonna try not to rail on it too much, but the pump sack, it's fine, it's better than blowing it up with your mouth. But the pump sack is less than ideal, and I'll show you that. So you attach the pump sack right there to the pad, and then you blow it up. But they tell you to still blow it up with, with, your, with your breath. And that is more efficient than blowing it up just straight mouth to nozzle. But this is the entrance to the pump sack. It's very small. I would have liked a pump sack, like I actually thought about literally just cutting this thing off because you can fill it with air so much faster. I mean, it takes forever to fill this thing up with your breath and like trying to like go like this and fill it up. The pump sack is just, it's its not great. I bought the Femores pump. I take that now, honest to God, it weighs an ounce. I know that's like bougie and so not ultralight. And on nights where on the, most of our trips honestly are two nights now. On a one trip, a one nighter, I probably might bring this. Um, but the Thermarest pump weighs about as much as this thing. It might weigh a gram or two more. And the pump works on this thing. So you can see this nozzle. Um, you just stick the pump in there. It's not as good as, you know, attaching it to a Thermarest pad because the Thermarest pump was made to hook onto a Thermarest pad. But the Thermarest pump still works with this thing. So I'm not a huge fan of this pump sack. Um, it's just a pain to fill up. Uh, but it's it's still probably better than using your mouth, but it is there is a weight savings there. My next impression of this, especially compared to the Thermarest, I really like the baffle design of this pad. Um, and I really like, it's actually like a really comfortable pad to lay on. I very rarely like would take a Thermarest and sleep on it shirtless. Um, this thing's really comfortable to lay on. I mean, it, like it feels good. Uh, I, I really like laying on it. Even laying on it in clothes, like it's more comfortable than laying on a Thermarest. Um, that's because of the way the baffles are designed and that's the way that the, um, that's just a factor of the material that this is made out of. But it's, it's very comfortable to lay on. And I really, I just really like it. It's super comfortable. And huge bonus, huge. This is quiet when you lay on it. It doesn't make noise. I mean, it makes some noise, obviously, but it's not like the rest where you're gonna wake up literally everybody at camp. Um, I, I've been very, very happy with the feel of this and how much noise it makes when you wriggle around on it. So um, that was something I didn't know before I got this. You know, I, I literally got this because it was an insulated three inch thick pad and it wasn't super expensive and since then, the, the Nemo Tensor line has blown up, and um, rightfully so. Last thing I'm gonna say is I literally just bought a new sleeping pad. <laughs> I have a problem. I bought another Nemo pad because Nemo, they make a three and a half inch thick pad. And the, for side sleepers, the thicker the better. And I got the Astro Light pad. Now, because I have this pad, um, although uh, I think Andy might use this now, but I did not get an insulated one. So I got the Nemo Astro Ultra Long Ultra Wide Pad. 
It's a three and a half inch thick pad and it has a pillow baffle built into it. Now I've slept, I've slept on it not in the woods and it is obviously it's more comfortable than this and it's lighter. So uh, if you're looking at pads and you don't need an insulated one and they, they make the Astrolite insulated honestly, but uh, if you're a dedicated side sleeper, really strongly consider three inch thick pads and consider the Nemo stuff. So that is it, um, post honeymoon phase video. But uh, honestly, like one of the themes is on our channel is invest in sleep. Um, nothing can ruin a trip and ruin life in general worse than getting a terrible night's sleep. And that compounds on a backpacking trip where you're being really physical all day and you need to recover at night. So we preach invest in sleep, do your research. It's worth spending more money. And these pads are in line with Thermarest in terms of prices. But invest in sleep, you won't regret it. Check out the Nemo line of pads. They make great pads um, and they have, they have really good warranties. So check it out, post honeymoon phase. It's time to do some backpacking. We're done filming these talking ads. We're going backpacking next week. I'm pumped. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribe, subscribing. If not, thank you for watching and we'll see everybody on the next one.